This book is called Scat Cat by Roderick Hunt. Pictures by Ben Court. Uh-oh, cat's chasing the mouse. Scat Cat. One night, very quietly, we all took a peep in Mrs. Moore's cottage where all were asleep. Asleep in her basket was Mrs. Moore's cat while her dog was curled up on his favorite mat. They look like they're having happy dreams. Old Mrs. Moore was asleep in her bed. Her white cap was white. I'm sorry, her nightcap was white and her nightgown was red. Old Mrs. Moore was quite creaky and thin and two whiskers grew <laughs> on the end of her chin. Look, she sleeps with her teddy bear. Oh, look at, there's a spider. Oh, her teeth are in a cup next to her bed. But something was moving downstairs by the door. A small mouse was looking for crumbs on the floor. The little mouse searched. She looked very thin. In places, her bones stuck right up through her skin. Do you see the poor bones in her skull? Oh, she's so skinny. Poor little mouse. She scampered and scurried fast as she was able, stopping to peep from the legs of the table. She's going to peep at the leg around the leg. She looked and she looked for a crumb or a shred, but the cat and the dog had been very well fed. Oh no, the cat and the dog got all the crumbs. The mouse was so hungry she had to be fed. Saw some crumbs on the mat where the dog was in bed. There was not much to feast on in Mrs. Moore's house, but one or two crumbs are a meal for a mouse. to the cat and the dog. Oh, that's scary. Now there was a fireplace still burned. Uh, now there in the fireplace still burned a small log and it spat out a spark on the nose of the dog. Oh, the fireplace spat out a spark and it hit the nose of the dog. Oh, it woke the dog up. The dog gave a howl and jumped up with a bark. He shook his head quickly to brush off the spark. Look at the mouse running. <laughs> Uh-oh. The cat woke and asked herself, what's all the din? She saw the mouse crunching, so crouching. She saw the mouse crouching, so trembling and thin. Uh-oh. That cat doesn't look happy. Cat leaped from her basket, the dog from his mat. The cat chased the mouse, the dog chased the cat. Uh-oh. <gasps> they ran in and out, they ran out and in. It was such a commotion, a terrible din. So din must mean commotion or loud noise. Uh-oh. Look at the mouse way up there on the clock. Mrs. Moore woke and sat up with a frown cried, what's going on? I'll just have to go down. So they woke her up. Now she has to go down and see what's the matter. Then quick as she could, she crept down the stairs to see mouse, cat, and dog as they chased around chairs. She opened the door and the little mouse fled. The cat and the dog chased her past the pond and the shed. So there's the pond and the shed. So there goes the mouse out the hedge. Let's see. Until all of a sudden, the mouse thought, enough, I'm thin and I'm hungry. Life's getting too tough. Enough, she says. I get nothing to eat. That's why I'm not fat. Thanks to Mrs. Moore's dog and Mrs. Moore's cat. Uh-oh. So the mouse is getting upset. The little mouse stopped by the side of a log. Cat stopped in surprise and so did the dog. <laughs> Look at the cat turning to grab the dog. <gasps> scat! Mouse puffed up her chest and bellowed. Now scat, you horrible dog and you horrible cat. Ooh, they do look scared of her. Then the little mouse searched for a place to be fed and found plenty of, of food in old Farmer Brown's shed. <laughs> 
So she told the cat and the dog to scat. And then she went and found Farmer Brown's shed and had plenty of food to eat there. Look at apples, carrots, and grain. So the cat's going to get nice and fat. <laughs> Not the cat. The mouse is going to get nice and fat. So scat cat. The reason I chose this book is look at this word scat. It starts with this S. Scat cat. Look at they both end with A-T. So they sound the same. They rhyme. Scat cat. What other words rhyme in the book? Old Mrs. Moore was quite creaky and thin, and two whiskers grew on the end of her chin. Thin chin. She's really thin, and she has hairs on her chin, right? And here, old Mrs. Moore was asleep in her bed. Her nightcap was white, and her nightgown was red. Bed, red bed and red rhyme. So this book had lots and lots of rhymes in it. Why don't you listen to it again and see if you can find the rhymes in Scat Cat. What words rhyme with cat? <laughs>